Hey everybody, it's Greg from Guardian RFID. Recently, one of our warriors reached out and asked if I had any suggestions on how I would review my staff for monthly compliance. And I gave him my three-point plan for helping my staff increase their monthly compliance. The first thing I said was, I would review each staff member's monthly compliance to determine if they went up or down from the previous month, and if this was a pattern for them of going up or down to determine if they were getting better or worse. The second thing I would determine is if they were going down, was this a pattern of practice or was this a staffing issue? Meaning, if every day between 11 and one o'clock in the afternoon they were consistently late, I would say that's probably staffing because we've got lunch and court and different things going on. Less their, their inability to get the rounds done, more of a staffing issue and maybe that's where I would step in. But if I noticed that it was irregular and they were just missing rounds throughout, then it's probably not a staffing issue and it's more on them and then we move to step three. So step three is this. First, have we talked about this before? Have we looked at their rounds in the past and discussed it in a formal setting? Because if we haven't, we gotta start from ground zero. And the first thing we do is when we discover that they're late, we have a conversation. It's casual, we ask some questions, how can we help? What was it that caused it? No excuses, just figure out what's going on. Two. The second time this happens, or strike two in this case for you baseball fans out there, we're gonna have a documented conversation where we make a plan. We plan how we're gonna resolve this issue so we're not continually late on rounds. So the first thing we do, obviously, we have that conversation, it's casual, we're uplifting, we're trying to encourage our staff. The second time we have that conversation, we're gonna document that conversation and make a plan to resolve those. If we have to go back and a third time have the same conversation with the same staff about missing rounds, we're gonna have a formal letter. We have to make sure we set some guidelines. We don't beat our staff up. We don't use the stick. We wanna encourage them. We got a tough enough job, but we have to set guidelines. So that's why we do have progressive discipline. So again, I'm gonna have the conversation. Second time, I'm gonna make a plan with them. Third time, I'm probably gonna to have to do that formal letter. But that's only after, again, we've determined the pattern of practice. Do they do this on purpose or do we have a staffing issue? And were they getting better or worse from month to month? And so are there other issues outside that? Once we get to that formal letter, well then really they have to decide if this is what they wanna do and is this the job for them? But remember, no matter what, even your 95% compliance officers, even your best officers, they're still gonna miss around. And they have to make sure that they're looking to us as supervisors to get better and to find ways to encourage and ask for help when we do miss those rounds. So please make sure you encourage your staff. Don't always look to beat them up or chastise them when they are late. Because remember, it is all about that team effort and everybody, even your best, are gonna miss a round or two. Hey everybody, if you have any other questions or comments, you can reach out to us at support at guardianrfid.com. And as always, get your team home safe.